Welcome to day four today. So we're still on the heart-synced ascension journeys. The ways how we can really sink into the new dimension, the fifth dimension as we call it and beyond, but also the higher energies. And today we we'll talk about something really important to us, which is the heart opening. Many people talk about heart opening at this time as it helps us to go beyond the mind, to go beyond the 3D, the lower energies, and to really connect on a deeper level. So heart opening for us is super, super, summamente, summamente important. Seems to be one of our roles and it allows us to be that bridge, that chakarunas into the heart, to cross over into ascension and into this new reality. So today let's open a little bit of heart dialogue to see what sense it makes to you, how it resonates for you, and then take you on a journey into the heart to open up more. For some, the heart is emotional. It's uh, our weak part. It's a pump in a physical sense. For some, we associate the, a broken heart with the heart. But really, this is not the heart that we are talking about here. We, when we take the heart and open the heart, something will help us physically. So when you open your heart, your spine is straightened up. Yeah. Yes, your chest is, is more open. You, you open your chest. Your breath shifts and almost takes you on a flight. Your mind opens up. Your vagus nerve has a beat of dance. So even on this physical, emotional level, there's a lot happening when we're starting to open up the heart. But of course, more important for us is what is happening when we really come into the heart. We come into our true selves. It's like you're falling within. Mm -hmm. Ramana Maharashi spoke a lot about the heart in his self-inquiry. Who am I? And all the other non-duality Advaita Vedanta practitioners from Moji to Krishmurti and all the others, they talk about following the heart, opening connect with the I am, source, God, beyond the human identification and illusion. We connect to all aspects of, of the being. So in many shamanic traditions, it's really about when you open the heart, you connect to a different vision, you connect to yourself, to the visual cord. For instance, in a Munai Ki, we're connecting the heart to the third eye mm -hmm. and the visual cord. We take the courage to evolve. And we are talking about courage. This word comes from the French cœur, the heart. And it's in the heart that we step into this unconditional, pure love. And of course, our ascension trajectory and the soul codes, they're in a way sitting here as well. The higher frequency, the higher energy, the light, the vibration, a lot of this comes through to, through the heart. And this is not only the chakra, this is beyond. It is really the heart in a bigger sense. We are talking about the intelligence of the heart, like a the hard mat tell us no? for over 30 years they did a lot of beautiful research and they have proof that we have much more cells brain yeah. cells in our heart than in our brain so are you ready to go into this higher consciousness some people say heart consciousness is the highest level of mm -hmm. consciousness so let's do it and let's journey into the heart so again today we're gonna breathe into the heart if you're sitting it helps to sit straight feel your chest all opening up closing your eyes and start breathing just be with your breath inhale let the natural break take place and exhale Just take the break that you wish and inhale again. 
So find these four parts of your breath. Find your rhythm. Inhaling, holding, exhaling, and holding. And just be with your breath. Allow your being, your body, your physical body and fields, your symbolic body and fields, your senses, your thoughts, your feelings to relax. And now pay attention to these gaps in between, these little breaks, the pauses in between the inhale and the exhale. And then choose one of these gaps and allow yourself to fall into your heart. Just be here. Just be in the presence of your heart. Just fully connect. To your beat of your heart. That pulse that takes you beyond your physical pulse into your pure self. your heart answer the question who am I beyond the persona the identity your busy life allow yourself to bask in your own heart in that emptiness in that wholeness now let yourself fall into living consciousness especially your connection with nature Chamana. Allow this connection to take you into the heart of earth. Allow the answer to why I'm here right now. What is my agreement and promise with the heart of earth right now? Don't worry, whatever comes is perfect. with the heart of the earth.
you're holding that presence in your own heart, in the heart of the earth. Allow yourselves to fall deeper. And this time into the cosmic heart, the heart of source, the heart of God. Let yourself melt with the divine and the universe. Bask in that boundlessness, that pure love, that pure isness, the presence of oneness, the universe, your star seeds, your sacred connection with the heart of source, God. And the universe. And right here, allow the answers to the questions. What is my sacred role I have chosen to bring to Earth and the universe at this time? Let the answer flow. What are my guides and my support team? Who is here with me? Who journeys with me on this ascension trajectory? What is the blessing that I have come to be in this process of ascension? Falling deeper, enjoying what comes, even the silence and the peace. And notice you are fully present in the heart of Source, the heart of Earth, and your own beautiful connection of all. Just stay here. Nothing goes anywhere. It's always here. Bask in the present, in this presence. Just let it be. Just being here. back into your own heart while being aware it all stays nothing goes anywhere bring your focus back into your heart into your breath and notice your physical body and this new awareness of connectedness it is always here. You are it. And when you are ready, open your eyes and smile. You are always this and more. So enjoy your day. Allow yourself to see through the eyes of the heart. These three hearts are always here. You may want to write down some of the answers that you have received. And if inspired, then just share it with us. We have some special gifts that we will also put into the links. Mm -hmm. So please just get in touch with us, register, and we will be back with you. And of course, the Consciousness Cafe is coming up. Yes, on the on the day number on the eight. our on the 8th of august of course is that the last day of this sequence of of our videos our sharing for lionsgate so we're very excited about this as well 
so happy to have you here. Much love into your world. Namaste. Namaste.